What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here and this is the Cricut Ovation 2. This device was recently launched by Cricut Wireless and it is the successor to last year's original Cricut Ovation. Now this phone is being offered as a Cricut exclusive as the name does imply and they are offering it for $129. Now I'd imagine that if you go into your local Cricut store and you're switching in from another carrier, you most likely will be able to get this phone for a bit cheaper than that. But even at 129 bucks, the Ovation 2 brings quite a bit here to the table as yet another affordable Android budget option. Now before I show you a variety of things about the actual device itself, let's take a closer look and see what all comes included here in the box. So here is the box, a pretty generic Cricut wireless box. There's the logo up front. Then on the back, we have some basic specifications about the Ovation 2, but I'll be going over all of this throughout the video. However, one thing I did want to point out is that it is backed by a two-year Cricut worry-free warranty, which is pretty nice. So the first thing you'll find in the box, of course, is the actual phone itself, and then you also get the SIM card, which I have already installed in the device. Then getting further into here, we do have the Cricut Wireless, Cricut Ovation 2 Quick Start Guide. We have Terms and Conditions. We have a Safety Information Guide. We have a SIM card removal tool. We have a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. And then finally, we have a 10 watt USB wall adapter. Now with the Cricut Ovation 2, we're getting a very large display here with the phone. In fact, the entire footprint of the phone is pretty large, especially considering that we are getting a bit of a thicker bottom bezel here. Now thankfully though, having that large display does make this phone ideal for using it for content consumption. Whether that's reading articles on this really big display, or watching video content, you are going to be able to see things very big and clearly here. Now the display itself is LCD at 720p, we're getting a PPI of 263, and a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio. So again, with that 20 and a half by 9 ratio, you're getting a very narrow but taller form factor here with the phone. And based on the ways that people tend to use their smartphones nowadays, where they're doing a lot of scrolling on social media, for example, then this is really ideal because you'll be able to fit more content in a single frame here. Now up top here, we do have a water drop notch for the front-facing camera, and that camera is 8 megapixels. Now internally, with the Cricut Ovation 2, we're getting 32 gigabytes of internal storage and we're also getting micro SD card expansion. So 32 gigs really isn't a whole lot, especially nowadays in 2021, as apps tend to be bigger and bigger than ever before, using up more and more space. But at the same time, at least we do get micro SD card expansion. And considering that this is a lower end option from Cricut, it is to be expected that we are getting 32 gigs. Now with the Cricut Ovation 2, there is no wireless charging. However, we do get a fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. So let's give that a try right now. So that's pretty quick. One more try. There we go. So it does get the job done. Maybe not quite as fast as other fingerprint sensors that I have used previously, but it does at least work. Now, unfortunately, with the Cricut Ovation 2, there is no face unlock. So as far as accessing the phone, you'll either have to use a pin code or use the fingerprint sensor. Now taking a look at the camera module on the device, we do have a triple camera setup. So we're getting a 13 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. And in addition to that, we're getting portrait mode with both the rear and front cameras on the Cricut Ovation 2. Now here's how things look on the camera app. Then from here we can switch over from the main camera, which you can see right now, to the ultra wide angle camera, which does allow us to fit a bit more content into the frame. This especially comes in handy when capturing images outdoors. Because in situations where you want to fit an entire building or maybe a tree into a picture, having that ultra wide angle lens does make that a lot easier. Then from here we can switch over to portrait mode so that you can get those blurred out backgrounds. And we'll give it a second here to load up. It does take a second, there we go. And then we can flip around to the front facing camera and take portrait mode selfies or if you just want to take regular selfies, you have that ability as well. Another interesting thing too is that video recording does max out with the phone at 1080p for both the front and rear cameras. Now one of the things that I do like though about the camera app is that it is pretty simple and easy to understand. For example, this button in the corner switches between the front and rear cameras. And then 
we have pretty much three options here for portrait mode, photo, and video. Then going to the upper left corner here gives us a bunch of other options as well. So you can add a grid, for example. You can mirror photos for the front camera if you prefer to do that. You can also toggle whether or not you want the location to be saved when taking a photo. And there's even additional shutter controls that allow you to long press on the shutter to do burst photos. We'll give that a try right now. Wow, yeah, I just took a bunch of photos, very fast. Now in general, I've been decently satisfied with the image quality from the various cameras here on the phone. Now the best thing about the cameras on this device is the fact that we do get so many different features considering that this is a very low end device. I appreciate that we are at least getting portrait mode and also getting an ultra wide angle camera. And while the quality might not be the best out there, especially compared to a phone that might cost double or triple the price, it does at least get the job done. So if you do find yourself constantly taking photos and constantly taking videos, you might wanna go for something a bit more higher end. But if you just occasionally take photos and videos and you want them to at least be good enough that they're worth keeping, then the Ovation 2 does get the job done in that regard. But in general, I'll let you be the judge from the photos that you're seeing right now. And let's now take a look at some video samples. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with a front facing 1080p test video from the Cricut Ovation 2. Definitely let me know what you think of both the video and audio quality from this video. Here is a 1080p test video using the main rear camera from the Cricut Ovation 2. We do have pretty quick autofocus in video mode. except for now, <laughs> that did take a while to focus. There we go, finally it focused. If you haven't noticed already, typically in my reviews, if the test footage is bad, I still keep it because I wanna mimic what real life usage is like. There we go, now we have pretty quick autofocus. Definitely curious to know what you think of the quality. And here is an ultra wide angle video from the Cricut Ovation 2. This is nice because it does let you fit a lot more content into the frame. Now with the Cricut Ovation 2, we're getting 3GB of RAM and the MediaTek Helio A22 processor. Now neither of those two metrics are necessarily that impressive, but in general, the phone has performed pretty well and about on par with other devices that you can get for the same price. So I don't feel like it's necessarily too slow compared to the competition out there, but at the same time, I wouldn't call it a very fast phone either. Now I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test here with the phone, and I'll show you the score from that test right now. But essentially, I got, for the single core test, a score of 149, and for the multi-core score, I got 453. So what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of whether or not the Cricut Ovation 2 will be a performance upgrade for you. But in general, if you're looking for a phone that can make phone calls, do text messages, do light to moderate social media usage, and also occasional video viewing, then this phone will get the job done for you. But if you do find yourself constantly on your phone, or maybe your phone is a big part of what you do for a living, for example, maybe you always have to make business calls. I probably wouldn't get this phone. I'd probably get something a bit more capable. But again, if you're kind of more of a casual smartphone user where you just kind of want the bare minimum, but at the same time, you want a big display that makes it easy to see things, then the Cricut Ovation 2 is adequate for that. Now with this phone, we're getting a 3,900 milliamp hour internal battery. Now that is decently large, and thankfully too, since this phone does have a 720p display, you should expect to get very good battery life out of it. Typically phones that have a higher quality display with a higher PPI, for example, would need a bigger battery to give you good battery life. But again, since the display here, even though it is large, is relatively lower in resolution, then the phone's able to run pretty efficiently. Now as far as the software goes, we're pretty much getting stock Android here with the phone. They really haven't added in too many other bonus features, 
So if you are already used to using a phone that has stock Android, then you are going to feel very familiar here with the interface of the Cricut Ovation 2. But if you're switching from a phone from Samsung, for example, then you probably will notice quite a few differences since Samsung has their own custom interface. And as far as major Android software updates go, I would not expect to get Android 12 or 13 with this phone. It most likely always will have Android 11, and I'm not really sure what to expect as far as security patches go. But again, if you're looking forward to getting the newest version of Android every time it comes out, then I would not go for this phone because typically these carrier devices don't get a whole lot of software updates, if any at all. Now with the Cricut Ovation 2, there is no NFC. NFC is the technology used to make mobile contactless payments. You typically find this with Samsung Pay, Google Pay, and especially Apple Pay with iPhones but you don't get NFC with the Cricut Ovation 2. So if you have a phone right now that you're using on a regular basis to make mobile contactless payments, then just know that you can't do it here with the Cricut Ovation 2. But let's now take a closer look at the actual hardware of the phone. Now, even though the phone is made completely out of plastic, minus the display, which is glass, it does feel decently high quality. It certainly doesn't feel cheap. Now, taking a look at the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side of the phone, we have the power button, volume down and volume up. Then up top here, we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom of the device, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have the microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and we have the speaker. So in conclusion, is the Cricut Ovation 2 worth getting? Now the budget smartphone space certainly is very competitive. There are very similar devices to this being offered by Motorola and Samsung, for example. And sometimes those devices are offered for even lower prices than the Ovation 2. So it really depends on the various promotions that Cricut is offering at the time that you're looking to get a phone. If you have to pay full price for the Ovation 2, then I certainly would cross shop and see what other options you might have. But if they're offering the Ovation 2 for a really good deal, while other devices are not being offered at good deals, then that certainly does make this phone a bit more appealing to buy. But as far as the various features go with this device, it does give us quite a few of them, but at the same time, I don't feel like we're getting much here that sets this phone apart or makes it too unique. But I hope you enjoyed this video about the Cricut Ovation 2. If you liked it, definitely give the video a thumbs up. But this is Kevin here, and I will see you in the next video.